When looking at the Pursuit of Cobra Ghost Hawk, I definitely get more of that hawk feeling that they were probably going for in the 80s. I think it helps that we have this kind of fully enclosed canopy here, so it kind of gives that side profile of a hawk's head. Then we also have that combined with the new landing gear here that's kind of in a crouched or perched look to it, so it kind of looks like it's getting ready to swoop down and pounce on Cobra from the skies. Now we also have the vault engines that have been updated, but they still rotate up and down. Didn't talk about this before, but with this Ghost Hawk and the previous Ghost Hawk, they did put new pegs on the vehicle, so the fins in the back actually stay on a lot better than in the 80s when the pegs were a lot smaller. And then we have a new tail fin in the back. We lost the two missiles that the previous Ghost Hawk came with. This time we get this gun right down below. We get one missile, but it's in a missile pod. And if you flip it upside down, you can see the button that allows you to fire the missile. Down below, you have two holes in the landing gear, and that's so you can interchange the weapons. So you can have the weapons like before we had the gun on this side and the missile on this side and you can reverse them so that they can be on either side or let's say you're one of those people that was able to pick up more than one of the brown hiss tanks or maybe you got one of the black ones and one of the brown ones and you don't mind that there's a big size difference between the ghost hawk and the version 5 hiss tanks you can also interchange the weapons from your hiss version 5 so on this side we have the missile launcher on this side we have the Gatling gun. And here we have them on the Ghost Hawk. Now you would have to use your imagination though if you did this. I did want to mention this though because it does share the same ports but the imagination is going to have to help you because with the landing gear you can see that it actually is off the ground. So not very realistic at all but definitely wanted to make sure that you guys knew about the interchangeable weapons. So you can do it with your his tanks or you can just interchange the weapons that it comes with. No matter how you plan to weaponize your Ghost Hawk, whether the weapons from multiple Ghost Hawks or multiple versions of the His Tank version 5, or you just want to interchange the weapons that it already comes with, no problem, you still have a pretty armed vehicle here because it still shares the same body as the previous Ghost Hawk. So we have the painted detail here of the Vulcan cannons being fired, which are the ones on the side. Then we also have the swivering thunderclap cannons right down below. And then also because this shares the same body, we also still have, even though it's no longer painted silver, we have the removable engine cover here. On this side I bring Lift to get in, not only because he piloted a vehicle called the Ghost Hawk, but he also piloted a vehicle in the 1980s called the 1986 Tomahawk. And here we have Tomahawk. Not only do they share a connection of both being pilots of Ghost Hawks, but they also share that word, Tomahawk. Now, I do want to also point out that they share the same body mold as well. Now, they do have different heads. Because of this, the helmet is a lot more easily removable from Tomahawk. So there's a close-up of Tomahawk's face. Now he does have the same body, so he's thankfully got that same seeth that has the removable knife. One difference that they have done though is that Tomahawk has the G.I. Joe unit logo for a Pursuit of Cobra on each shoulder pad. Now they do have different paint applications. The colors are mostly black, green, tan, silver, yellow, and gray on Tomahawk. And on Lift Ticket, we have black, tan, orange, kind of a reddish orange, green, silver. Besides the different color paint applications, where the paint is applied differs from the figures as well. Here we have Tomahawk with painted forearm pouches. Lift Ticket gets unpainted ones. Here we have painted pouches on Tomahawk, unpainted on Lift Ticket. Unpainted radio on Tomahawk, painted radio on Lift Ticket. Painted pouch on Tomahawk, unpainted on lift ticket. So with the fully enclosed canopy, you may be asking, how does he see where he's flying? 
Now the idea is that we have both the stickers on the outside, one goes on the outside, and then there's one that also goes on the inside of this red panel. So the idea with both the stickers on the outside and on the inside is kind of the same way with the red plastic that's on the inside of this canopy. It's kind of like with the His Tank version 5 or with the um, Jungle Viper. They kind of have cameras somewhere all around the machines which allow you to be able to see 360 degrees. So the idea is that he would have this computer readout display but then the idea too is that when he's using the cameras he would get all this filled in with video from the outside of the vehicle and that's how he's able to see around. As with previous released alpha sized vehicles we have the package insert that turns into a diorama. Here I have it fully extended but if you don't want to have it fully extended the instructions are that you would take the pegs right here and you'd insert them into the lines or slits in the back and that gives you more of an enclosed diorama piece. So with the diorama we have some trays and we have a huge fire and smoke billowing up another explosion here looks like an explosion up in the sky huge explosion here with more smoke so it's just made the sky so dark and so auburn but I think my favorite part of this diorama package insert is so instead of just getting a jungle floor we actually get treetops I love this viewpoint of this diorama since the Skyhawk is a flying vehicle I hope you've enjoyed my take on the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Ghost Hawk. As always, I thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, but above all, I thank you for allowing me to show that there's more to this toy collector than just playing with toys. Bye. We'll see you next time.